Hello, my friends. I was just thinking recently about the nature of information. Um, I was already th wondering about where we can trust information from. Um, certainly not our media. Uh, I just got off the phone with my parents who live in New England. They literally watch three news programs a day. They watch the morning news, the, the lunchtime news, and the evening news. And they also read the local newspaper. They had not even heard of the march against Monsanto that happened this year. They hadn't even heard about it, not a peep. I mean, hundreds of thousands of people marched against Monsanto and genetically modified food, and they hadn't even heard of it, and they watch news all the time. Whereas I, like, never waste my time watching the news because it's always, uh, like, partial truth. It's almost always a spin on something, whether you realize it or not. And even well-meaning people um, might even tell you something that's even true in their life, in their world, in their reality, that's not true in yours. You know, listen to your heart. Feel the truth of people's words. I love the truth. I, I've always uh, kind of disliked, for lack of a better word, liars. I, I just kind of oppose that energy of deception. Uh, it seems like life is hard enough without people lying about what the truth of matters are. So I just ask you to always question your sources of information, mainstream media, bunch of lies, uh, newspapers, magazines. They're all owned by six companies in the United States. Um, and they don't have your best interests in mind. So I, I wouldn't waste a lot of time there. Um, in fact, I'm saying to look inward, uh, get in touch with yourself, learn to love yourself, forgive yourself, forgive others, love others. Um, if you need to get anything, the answer to that is to give. You give and you get. It's a flow. It's just a simple flow in and out. You're giving, you're getting. You're giving, you're getting. Um, so some people call it karma. What you put out, you get back. That is absolutely true in my life. So look at your life and see if you feel that's true for you. Have you noticed that when you're loving, you don't have to worry about things. Like if you always tell the truth, you don't have to keep track of your lies, for instance. So I mean, really, a life of ease and peace starts with being truthful with yourself and with others. Information I've been putting weight on these days is information I get um, when I wake up from a night's sleep. My mind is clear. Um, I usually have like one or two specific ideas in my head that I write down on paper and then I put in a little um, document file so I don't forget it. Um, because it's not information that I usually think of consciously. I feel like the information is coming from outside of myself yet from a trusted place which is awesome. I feel like I'm really getting new information um, and it's trusted information. So if you are able to talk to a God, or pray to a being, a watch over, the universe, whatever you want to call it, source, if you can connect to source information, the Godhead, and get direct downloads, I, I would say that's the best place to go for answers about anything. And, and what's amazing when you start doing this is that you get answers to things that are almost rhetorical questions. Like you almost don't maybe even think there's an answer to. Like I, I ask like, how do I get ease? Or how do I get, you know, happiness? And I got answers to those. You know, you get happiness by choosing happy. I mean, that sounds corny, but that's the truth. You focus on what you want. Don't focus on what you don't want. I'm getting to the point now where I'm living in total love and no fear. And I mean no fear. Yeah, my mind occasionally runs like a scenario like, oh, this bad thing could happen. I think about it. And then I stop, laugh, and realize that my that's just me writing a fictitious script. And then I say, even if that's the case, even if that worst possible scenario is the absolute truth, I choose not to fear anyway. I choose not to be in fear. I choose not to be in fear. I have decided not to be in fear. That's how you end fear. So there's an answer to all these like cool things. Like if you want to 
even get more money or some other like more down to earth thing, uh, more love in your life. Of course, the answer to get more love is to give more love. Um, money, you serve others, be of service. You want a lot of money, give big service to others.